We have an example here using Java that will determine if a number is prime or not. But before that, let us have first the definition of prime numbers. Prime numbers are a whole number that cannot be made by multiplying other whole numbers. Or simply we could understand it as it is a prime number if the number can divided cannot be divided evenly. And if the number can be divided evenly, then that would be a composite number. So our example of prime numbers are 3, 5, 7, although 2 is the only even number among prime numbers. Because prime numbers are, again, numbers that cannot be divided evenly. So 8 is a prime number. Obviously, no, because it can be made by 2 times 4 or, say, uh, 1 times 8, then that's, we have 8, all right? 4, 6, 8 are composite numbers, meaning it can be divided evenly. 73 is a prime number, yes, it is, as no other whole numbers multiply together to make it or to make a 73 number. So when you say prime numbers, those are numbers that cannot be divided evenly. So let's proceed with our Java environment. We have a boolean variable n is prime that will give us a value false if the number is um, not prime and if the value of if the condition if the value is uh, prime then it will give us a true value so again we have here let's say for example our value to test if it's a prime prime or not is 8 uh, we are going to get the modulo of the number and determine if, uh, if it's a whole number or not. So if it's a whole number, then uh, that is not considered as a prime. Only when it's not a whole number or if there is a remainder that we could consider it as a prime number. And our value of our i will start from 2, 2 up to seven so we will divide eight we will get the modulo of eight from two to seven and the last value of our n is prime is when we divide when we get the modulo of eight modulo seven because seven is our last value of n okay uh, because we will increment i by one and with that if the value is false if this is true then and is a prime would become false now if this is false then our n of prime n is prime would remain true so when we run this program we have as you can see um n our n is prime become the value is false therefore 8 is not a prime number so if we will have here 6, when we get the modulo of 6 of modulo of 6 by 2, 4, that's 3, 4, and 5, the result is false. So still, 6 is not a prime number. So we have 45. I would have 45. 45 can evenly divided into by 5 therefore obviously it's a, not a prime number so when we perform still it's false therefore uh, 45 is not a prime number so we already have a boolean variable that will determine if the value we inputted is a prime or not and this line of command just simply test as to what is the value of our n prime as we get the modulo of our input n to that of the value of i wherein the value of our i starts from 2 starts from 2 and ends with uh, 44 and that is the last uh, 45 knowing that 45 is our input so if our input is 8 then that means that our value of i will be from 2 to 7.
and we get the modulo of the input we have to that of the value of our i from 2 to 7 and we evaluate if it is equal to 0. If it's equal to 0, then the n, n s prime will be uh, will become false or it will be it will give us a false value so if i would have again another input here of four the value of our i will be from as you can see from two to four if i would have here seven the value of our i is from two to six all right and it uh, it evaluate if this is true or false now once this is false the our n n s prime would remain true that's why we have here true value so let us properly label the output by creating now a command that will label the output so let's say for example if it is if it is a prime or not so we have here we will change this one to a condition such that if n is prime is true if this is true this one will be displayed that is the number we strike the value of our n and the word is prime else it will display not prime so, so for example for six then it will display six is prime and calling the value of our n six sorry seven i it was 6 because that was the last value of our i. So 7 is prime, knowing that um, the value of, of n is prime is still true. If I would have here 43, can 43, can even be divided? No, it's not. So we have 43 is a prime number. If I would have 44, it can even be divided. Therefore, it's an, it's a not prime number so this is an example of a while loop a while loop we have the condition the block of statement the increment so we can move from 2 as our initial value until the statement becomes false and the statement will become false if i will become um greater than or equal to the value of our n so if the value of our n is 44 this statement will become false the moment that i will become 44 because 44 is no longer greater than greater than n which is 44 and that will stop the loop or stop performing the body of this program so this is a program in java that uh, determine now if the value is prime or not